everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Gladwell Kozak if you're new here uh, please do consider to subscribe and uh, leave, a not uh, leave a comment or hit the notification button so that you don't miss any videos when I upload in today's video I am going to dive right in I'm going to show you how to make nice fluffy soft Kenyan mandazis these are actually donuts that we make uh, back at home in Kenya and they are eaten as a snack for breakfast or afternoon tea or whenever it just is something that you just have as hand food and uh, yeah we love them and I am sure if you try them at home you will end up loving them so let's dive in and I will show you how to do them so the first ingredients that you need are your raw uh, dry ingredients so um, you need three cups of plain uh, wheat flour uh, you need one sachet of dry yeast five uh, four to five tablespoons of raw sugar i use brown sugar because um, i tend to find it uh, it works much better for me, but you can use any kind of sugar. So if you have white sugar or custard sugar, if it works for you, then you can go ahead and use that one. You need one tablespoon of baking powder, um, one um, half a spoon of um, salt, and a spoon of uh, a tablespoon of cardamom, uh, ground cardamom and for the wet ingredients you will be needing um, one cup of warm lukewarm milk not warm milk just lukewarm mi milk uh, melted butter at um, 75 grams and one egg and then you will be good to go so for me at the beginning I am mixing my dry ingredients first and then I whisk them together and then I will be later doing the wet ingredients before I mix them up to make the dough. After you've mixed, mixed together your dry ingredients, now you want to add um, melted butter and an egg and whisk them together uh, and make sure they are nicely um, mixed up uh, before you pour them into your dry ingredients. And then you mix them up together and then you form a nice um, paste which you will start kneading into the dough uh, and after you've done all your bits you just need to leave the dough to rest for about um, an hour to one and a half hours before you can start uh, rolling and making it 
into the size sizes that you prefer. I prefer to have my donuts in small sizes. That's why for me, I make tiny ones, unlike the regular ones, which uh, usually they look uh, quite big. I just need to eat like two or three rather than just eating one at a time. Make sure to knead your dough nice and thoroughly and uh, it needs to still remain um, quite light. Uh, you still want it to be sticky because when it hardens then you might not get a very nice soft and fluffy mandazis. So uh, the lighter the better. So uh, it's just adding a little bit of flour but make sure you do not uh, exaggerate on that one because you want it to remain when it's growing to remain nice light and fluffy So my dough is now ready, it's nice and rested. I let it rest for about one and a half hours and then I will be rolling um, into a round big circle and then I will be cutting them into small pieces as I said earlier. And uh, yeah, um, I use the rolling pin and then I use a little bit of flour because the dough is quite sticky and uh, that's the way you want it because you do not want it dry because you want it to to be nice and fluffy and sp sp soft inside and then i will be using my pizza knife to cut into the small pieces and then uh, it'll be good to go um, on the deep frying pan
you want my your mandazis nice and golden having that um a little bit of color don't want them too burnt just a nice hint of brown and uh is ready you want also to have your oil uh, quite ready before you start putting your first batch in but make sure that you reduce the fire so that it doesn't just burn the skin and inside is not yet properly cooked so make sure you reduce the fire while you have started doing your first batch and just alternately make sure you are increasing when you need to and reduce the fire when you need to otherwise um, as you can see they are looking really delicious is something that you can easily try at home mm -hmm. it is so simple a very simple recipe to follow and i'm sure if you try um it, they will turn out perfectly um yeah Well, as uh, you can see, I give them a little bit of a, a sprinkle of icing sugar. It is up to you. You don't have to do, but I prefer doing mine. And uh, as you can see inside, is very soft. It's nice inside, looking very, very delicious. Yeah, ready to go. And uh, yeah, the children, my husband will be enjoying them. Yeah. So, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you try this recipe. It's a very simple one and I am sure you will find that the results are as good as I promised. Uh, mine, I do, as I've done this um, so many times and the results are always the same. I'm never disappointed. As long as the portions are right, you will find that it will come out perfectly. So um this is the results they are really looking delicious and they are really really tasting uh really good 
I have tasted. Uh, I could advise you put a little bit more of cardamom if you would like to have more taste of the cardamom. But for me, I prefer just keeping to the recipe. So, um, while I am here, I would say uh, you can watch other videos that I've put out there. And uh, yeah, uh, do remember to give us a thumbs up, a like, leave a comment and also um, subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos as I put them through. And uh, yeah, we'll keep this one going. So, meanwhile, bye for now.